All right, this is part two of linear regression here. Uh, now, going back to my list here, this is my, my x variable, this is my y variable. And in the previous lesson, I showed you how to do a scatter plot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually find the line of best fit. If you were to draw a line that best fits that data, where would you draw it? I mean, what would the slope of that be? Where would it cross the y-axis? Well, we're going to find the actual uh, the algebraic equation in slope-intercept form that will best fit this data here, okay? So, uh, under stat here, under stat, if I just hit that, I want to calculate, okay, and I'm going to go down to item number four, which is lin reg, which is short for linear regression, and that is the technical name for line of best fit. Now, this is the equation a is the slope, okay? And in Algebra 1, the slope of a linear equation is always the coefficient of x. So some of your calculators may have it written as bx plus a. It doesn't matter if it's bx plus a or ax plus b. Just remember that the number in front of x is the slope. The constant number is the y-intercept. Okay, so I hit, in the lower right, I hit lin reg, okay? Now notice it displays that here. Now let me clear this stuff out here and do it all over again here. Okay, so linreg. Now it wants to know what list do we want to do linear regression for. Now my x variable is list 1, so I hit second 1, comma, second 2, okay? And then I want to do another comma, and I want to put the y variable here because I wanted to put the, uh, the equation the linear regression equation in the in the editor, okay? And you'll see what I mean by that in just a minute. So follow me here. We're going to go to vars because we want a y variable. So vars is short for variable. Hit vars, y vars, function, enter, y1, enter. So now it goes back to the home screen here. Lin reg, L1, L2, that's my X variable, my Y variable, and then I want it to put it in into the graphing editor uh, under Y1. Now when I hit enter, notice it gives me the, uh, the slope of the line is 1.3 and the Y-intercept is about negative 90. Now notice it's not showing up an R value here. The R value is called the correlation coefficient, and I'm going to show you how to find that um, on the next video on part 3.